Now, I think it's going to be tough because the Hawks are a young, talented team. But the operative word is young, and they're going up against a top defense in the NBA. It's going to be a little bit too much for them in seven games. Knicks in seven. They close it out at Madison Square Garden. They're young, but they're ready. Let's stay with that series. Atlanta Hawks interim coach Nate McMillan fined 25000 for saying the NBA wants the New York Knicks in the playoffs. Here's the quote. Absolutely. I've talked about that to the team a lot. Basically, I've gone as far as saying the league wants this. They need this. New York, this is a big market for the league, and New York has been out of the playoffs for a number of years. And this is a team that our league, they want to see. There's a huge fan base, and they want to see New York in the playoffs. Earlier today on KJZ, Commissioner Adam Silver had this to say. Nate's a veteran coach. I mean, he knows better. I mean, he he's trying to inspire his team to suggest that the league somehow would prefer some teams over others, and it's just not the case. And he knows it, and he's got a young team, and he just wants to get them going. Max Kell. Yeah. Nate McMillan's comments, fair or foul? Totally fair. And let me say, I'm not questioning Adam Silver's ethics. And I think Adam Silver is a terrific commissioner, and I love the way, what are you rolling your eyes for? Already. I'm not going to even tell one you. Sentence I'll school you one day. And, I'm not going to even tell you why I'm rolling my eyes, school, but go ahead. They, you school me. And I That's think right. he answered that perfectly. Like, yeah, the coach is trying to, you know, don't get on him. But let me say this. Not only is it totally fair for Nate McMillan to say it, he knows as soon as he opens his mouth it's going to cost him money. He knows his, here comes 25 Gs and he's willing to spend it. And why is he willing to spend it? Well, look, let's first look at what he said. He told no lies. And it doesn't even have to be a conscious thing. Look. Businesses are incentivized by profit. Your incentive is to optimize your profits, right? And so if you alienate a fan base of 20 million, New York is the largest fan base or the largest market in the country by 100%. It's twice the size of LA, which is twice the size of the next market. 20 million fans, 20 million people. And, and have they been as engaged in the NBA as they should have been over the last 20 years because the pathetic state of the Knicks? No. You know if the Knicks advance, the whole league is going to be enhanced by that? Of course. So you know it makes you money. What, that your incentive. You're incentivized to want the Knicks to do, to do well. That doesn't mean you're telling the refs, call it for the Knicks, anything like that. But the incentive exists, and incentives shape behavior. Okay. So since you know that, you're Nate McMillan. You say it out loud. Now, what does that do? What does that do? It exerts a little pressure. It boxes the refs a little bit. Don't let it be some crazy disparity in free throws, right? Oh, the Knicks are getting one free throw for every three their opponent gets. Don't let, it, don't let something happen like that. In a close call, is it human nature to think, let me call it for the... Yeah, it is. He is doing whatever he can to exert public pressure. Phil Jackson used to do the same thing to the Knicks, Stephen A. He, well, basketball's a beautiful flowing game. It's not about, you know, it's not so physical and stuff because he didn't want the other team to be more physical. Nate McMillan is giving his team the best chance, and he's spending 25 Gs to do it. It's fair. That's why it's foul. Because that's the kind of edge you're looking for. What's the matter? You scared? You scared Julius Randle? You scared of Julius Randle, Nate McMillan? You scared of him? You scared? Oh, I, you? I mean, you, you just scared of R.J. Barrett? What, you scared of Nate, Nate McMillan? That's, that's what it is. I thought you had Trey Young. I thought you had Collins. I thought you had DeAndre Hunter. I thought you had Clint Capella. I thought you had a crew, Nate McMillan. I mean, you 27 and 11 as a coach since you took over after Lloyd Pierce was let go. I mean, you've proven once again you're a hell of a coach, all right? You got, you're a hell of a coach, all right? You got young players. You got one of the great shooters, one of the great young stars in this game in Trey Young. What's the problem? Why you need that kind of edge? I mean, what's up? And that's what it is? You, you scared? You scared? You scared of Julius Randle? You scared of Quickly? You scared of Derrick Rose? The reemergent the re ah, Derrick Rose, ah. you scared of RJ Barrett? I mean, what's up? Why, why you need to do something like that? What you need to do something like that for? How you gonna come into the series before one single game was played in the postseason already complaining about the officials, already complaining about the league? What's up, Nate McMillan? What's going on? That's my brother. I love him. You know, I appreciate the job that he's done. Very, very happy for him. By the way, Mark Spears showed up on the jump the other day, and I'm glad he reminded us all. 
Nate McMillan, Atlanta Hawks, would you please give this man a contract extension? Would you be, please make him the permanent head coach for the Atlanta Hawks? How the, hell, a bit. how the hell is he looking for, uh, you know, looking for a new contract? You know, this is his only season. Give the man a damn contract. Having to, now, back to this. Adam Silver is absolutely right. The Milwaukee Bucks are relevant. Small market teams, in the NBA's eyes, the small market teams, the more successful you are, the better it is. I want to hear no stuff about New York. If the New York Knicks, if it really was in the league's best interest for the New York Knicks to be relevant, Zion would be in New York because the ping pong ball would have went to them instead of the New Orleans Pelicans. So don't get me started with that. I'm just saying it's foul because you're looking for an edge. And what you're looking for an edge for, Nate McMillan, you scared? You scared? You scared of Julius Randle? You scared of RJ Barrett? You scared of Derrick Rose? They, 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 he sound a little scared to me. You know something. That's what he does. He you know sound something. a little scared. You know something? Let me take a page out of your book. That's nauseating. This is a Knicks fan. Molly, I want you to take a good look at a Knicks fan. Makes everything about the Knicks, no matter what we're talking about. And he tries to turn this whole thing into anyone scared of the Knicks. So let me ask you something. When Phil Jackson used to do exactly what Nate McMillan is doing right now, and he had Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Was Not he scared true. of the Knicks? <clears throat> Not Was true. He scared? Not true. He used Phil to work would, the refs publicly. Phil, Phil did it. <clears throat> Phil did it in the throes of a series trying to switch momentum and things of that nature after games were played. He didn't do it before the damn series started. What, not a what? game has been played yet. Right? Even better to do Nothing it now. Nothing has been played even, yet. You, it's look, not even Nate better. Nate McMillan is it's shining a spotlight on a certain scared. issue. He's not scared. And now, see, he's not scared. See, no, That's a, Julius so Randle. Julius, Julius Randle's scared. Look, Julius look, Randle got him scared. And now here comes Julius, scared, Julius, right Derrick Rose got him scared. That's what, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's all I'm saying. Nate McMillan is shining a spotlight on something. And if it turns out the Knicks are getting, say, a lot more calls or a controversial call goes oh, their way, Nate McMillan yeah. after a game can come out there down 2-1. Or, well, it's a close Don't series. Worry, it's like right? a 50-50 series. Don't Nate worry, McMillan right? is giving every edge to his team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.